got going on here today is I'm gonna show you how to install a mirror completely, a frameless mirror that is. All right, so what we have here is some, uh, some Miro Mastic, okay? It is uh, for mirror installation, if you can see that. Um, basically, it's like this glue, you know, so all it really is, it's some type of glue. I'm sure you could probably get something similar to this if you can't get this stuff at your local hardware store. But what, basically what you wanna do is you wanna put enough mastic on the wall here to where it's gonna hold that mirror. And by standard, all of us mirror guys that do mirrors across the country, you know, we pretty much follow the same script, okay? Um, we put it in the four corners, not too high, not too low. My mirror is 42 inches tall and it's about 37 inches wide, I do believe. Uh, measure to make sure of that. But basically, what you wanna do is you wanna get your mask on the wall. I have a shim here, if you can see that, if my angle is good. What I like to do is I like to take my shim and I cut it in half, okay? Be sure not to cut your finger, okay? I gotta cut on my finger right now from cutting myself with my knife. I think I cut a tendon and everything, man. But Jesus Christ. So, right here, you see the backsplash got all this drywall dust on it. And I'm gonna clean all that off the best I can. I set a shim here on the end, and I set another shim here on the end, and I got them going long ways, if you can see that there, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, uh, make sure I measure, make sure I get the right mirror, which is, my backsplash is 38 inches, okay? And you want your mirror to be about maybe an inch to two inches short, okay? To make sure that it's gonna fit on the backsplash. So over yonder, way over here, is where my mirror is. So when we, uh, I'm on a commercial site, so when you guys see me with this hard hat on, don't leave all these comments talking about, I can't believe he got on a hard hat to install a mirror. What's wrong with this guy, okay? Oh uh, man, listen, it's a, it's a commercial job site. You have to wear a hard hat and high visibility stuff in regards to making sure that you stay safe, okay? So, I'm on a commercial site. Here goes my gun, I go to Milwaukee right there, baby. Woo, Milwaukee. All right, so right here is my mirror. So I got this size mirror, I got that size mirror, and I got that size mirror. Here's the mirror that I need right here for the simple fact that it's three feet, okay? I was 38 inches on the backsplash. It's gonna go up just like this. The height is 42, okay? Most of our mirrors that we install are 42. Once again, this is the frameless mirror. I picked this guy up, almost dropped it there for the, for the, for the YouTube. And I'm gonna carry this mirror being careful not to touch any edges, okay? Not to scrape it on the walls. I'm gonna carry this mirror over, back over to this unit, okay? I'm gonna get over here. I already got him all prepped up, ready to go. Just stick him on the wall, okay? So, pretty simple, man. One of the easiest things that you could ever do if your mirror is all messed up in your house, you know, get yourself a suction cup that's worthy and pull that mirror off. Hopefully the, the guys that install the mirror follow that same standard in regards to putting the mastic on the wall. So I'm gonna come in here and we're back to our hole. We got our shims down. And the reason why I put those shims down to get a soft landing, and then on top of that, we're gonna make sure that, that mirror, when it settles, it doesn't crack on the backsplash here, okay? So I'm gonna kind of take the, the mastic, massage it, my shim fell down, I stick that back in there. I'm gonna massage it up again, massage it down, massage it on all four points of that massive, okay? Now I got it where I want it. I'm gonna kind of press the mirror with one hand, turn my shims this way, okay? And that could be taken out later on once it really settles and the glue is applied. So over here, I'm measuring, I got one and a half inches over here, and I got about a half inch over there. So I'm gonna slide this way. I always like to take my mirror up a little bit when I slide it, then bring it down versus I don't want to chip on the backsplash. 
okay? A lot of times we don't use the shims because the backsplash is not granite or it's nothing hard that's gonna chip the mirror. It's the plastic wood or whatever. And we all know wood's forgiving. I smack the masset. I check up here to make sure that the, uh, the mirror's gonna stay up there by just kind of trying to peel it off the wall a little bit. Looks good, that's it. So if you ever needed to take the mirror off, you take your suction cup, put it in the center, take your suction, take your suction cup, put it in the center, and basically, <clears throat> when you pull that suction cup over here, and you pull that suction cup over here, you're able to get it off because that we follow that same standard of the four corners, okay? Um, hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully you guys are able to do this if you go do it on your own, but I'm Handy Danny. Let's go, get your dream.